Good morning. <clears throat> Let me see if, um, I don't know if this is in the right place or not, so I'm just gonna double check before I start talking. Uh, yeah, there we go, okay. Um, so, hello everyone and happy new year. Can't believe we're already in 2023. But um, anyway, I'm Dana. And um, if I haven't met you, hello, but um, hopefully I will get to meet you, right? So anyway, I just wanted to say hello and let's start off the new year. Um, this is going into both my, I have two different groups. So if you happen to see and you jump on, say hello, please. I'm on Be Live, so I won't know unless you have a Be Live account, I won't know um, who it is. So let me know who you are. I was hoping that Dwayne and I would be able to go live with you guys tonight, but, um, he's been doing some extra work and so we just don't ever know. So I thought, well, instead of missing out, um, on a live today that I would just go ahead and go live. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Annette. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you guys for joining. So the main reason why I thought I would go live right now is because today is the last day to register for rally. And um, so hello, 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 Natasha. So I wanted to make sure you guys are telling everyone to register for rally, register for rally. Hopefully you can get there in person. Uh, we know that in person is um, so much fun. It's kind of funny because I mean, we did have an in-person rally this last time, and we've done some in-person things since COVID, but it's really weird how that just changed the dynamics of everything. In a good way, it did give us the opportunity to do virtuals, but um, so many of us miss out on getting together and being in person. And I know um, I love the connection. One of the things um, about this company and about me um, when I first joined was just the connections with everyone and making new friends. And it's really cool when you are on a um, path along with a bunch of other people who love the same thing and everybody's cheering each other on and doing all that. And when you have these in-person rallies, it just really enhances, I don't know, it enhances the business for me personally. But um, Anyway, hi, you guys. If you are not a member of Be Live, be sure to tell me your name when you're making comments, because otherwise I it just says Facebook user or, or yeah, just Facebook user. So anyway, hello and thank you for joining. So again, it is the last day to register for Rally. So be sure to um, encourage your people that if they are near a Rally location, that they go ahead and sign up. Um, we will be in Houston and I'm super excited to see everyone. And hopefully we will get numbers back up again so that they will be able to do rallies in more places. I think the wrap, the numbers have been, the numbers were low for the last one. And so I, I'm sure they hesitate to have as many as we used to have for that very reason. So let's get those numbers back up so that they, you know, so that we start having them everywhere again. Some of my greatest friends were made through the absolutely a hundred percent I agree with that 100%, Teresa. Facebook is great because we connect and we feel like we know one another, but there is something really amazing that um, happens when we get to see each other in person. So um, I mean, let me turn my phone on silent. So anyway, that's that. Last day to register. Um, a couple of other things I just wanted to talk about. Um is okay so does anybody have a word of the year does anybody else do a word of the year hi denise does anybody have a word of the year so i in okay so when people first started talking about doing the word of the year i just kind of went along with it because i was like i mean this was years ago but i have a networking group and they love word of the year like we write it out and we draw pictures around it it's really silly but but I did it um, that first time and I thought, you know, okay, whatever, this is so silly, but it's amazing because when you have a word of the year and you write it down or you put it somewhere that you see it, it's crazy how that word, it's like your whole entire year focuses around that word. And so after that year that I did that particular word, and I can't even remember what my very first word was, but 
um, I was very, I, I was very careful about the words that I chose after that, because I thought, you know what, it's got to be really, it's got to be a good, a good word. And it's got to be a word that I am going to feel all the way down, like into my soul, right? Simplify is a great word. I love that, Denise. Um, that is an actually, that is a great word because we do, we get so um, crazy and, and going too many directions. Simplify is a good word. That's a good word. Um, I will share with you guys my word this year. And I struggled with this. I think I brought it up back in December, early December. Um, and I struggled with my word because, you know, I wanted growth and I wanted all these things for my business. But then um, I kept coming back to, okay, so I, you guys know I had my little health issue last year. And um, one of the things that I have been told by my doctors is, I have to avoid stress. Well, the moment someone says that, it's kind of like all of a sudden everything stresses you out. <laughs> it's like, don't tell somebody not to stress. Like you need to stop stressing because that's all then that they think about and do. And the last quarter of 2022, I stressed out all the time about every little thing. I stressed out about stressing out, like seriously, stressed out about stressing out. So I really was thinking hard about what my year, my word was going to be. And I kept thinking about, okay, well, how do I not stress out? Like, okay, I had to get that off the, off the radar and then change my whole way of thinking. And I finally landed on um, inner peace, inner peace. It's two words. I know. I don't need anybody to tell me it's not one word, but peace just didn't do it for me. So inner peace was what I went with. And it's crazy amazing how already in, what are we on, three days, it has already helped me immensely because instead of thinking about stress and, oh, I can't, I can't think about this. I can't stress out. Instead, I'm thinking about my inner peace and I'm going back to what makes me grounded and what keeps me focused and what brings me inner peace. So it's crazy what a word can do. Okay. What else you got? Mine is peace. Who said that? Okay, I got to know. Because that's my word, inner peace. Um, not really one word, but mine is doing, don't overthink it. That's really a good one. That's a, I mean, right? I, yeah, so much for the word. It's got to be, I like that. My word this year is enough. I want everything I have to be enough. Oh, not be so hard on myself. I like that. So that is kind of, um, I'm seeing a trend here, you guys. Like, I maybe we have all, I think we've all been really hard on ourselves. Maybe. I think we've all been really hard on ourselves over the last course of the last year or even two. I feel like they're, that we've just been really hard on ourselves. Anyway, that's, I'm all of a sudden, I'm like feeling this whole vibe. I chose my word for personal reasons more than business. Hey, I, 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 I totally get that. And mine too, a lot of my word, is based on just how I handle things. I am a, I am a um, fanatic about everything being in its place. I'm a rule follower. I'm a, um, I worry about other people. And when I know people are upset or stressed or dealing with anything, I take that on and worry about them. And then I am like, off kilter for a while. And anyway, so I, I totally get that. Like I totally get that being it. Okay. So what I'm, what I'm trying to say here is your personal life is going to bleed into your business anyway. So absolutely. We have to get control of what we're doing in, on a personal level so that we can work our businesses and be successful in that. And so anyway, that's kind of where I'm at with my inner peace because I can't be happy in what I'm doing anywhere else if I don't find that inner peace in myself. And um, yeah, anyway, being hard on myself. Anyway, sorry, y'all. My brain is going in all kinds of places now because um, this is really good. I'm feeling this. Mine is peace in all areas of life, physical, mental. Yep. In my home relationships. I love it, Lindsay. I'm right there with you. Right there with you. Oh, somebody said manifest. Who is that? I would love to know. We have to give ourselves grace. Yes. Oh my gosh. I just said this yesterday. I forget. 
who I said that to, but um, yeah, we got to give each other, we got to give everyone grace. We have to, and then give ourselves grace. My gosh, we have got to give ourselves grace for sure. So that's awesome. We are our worst enemies. Mm, girl, you are so right. Heather said manifest. Okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Patience. That's a good word. That's a great word. I love this. See, I love this kind of stuff, but this is just because this to me impacts me personally, which impacts me on every level. It's, it impacts how I deal with people, my business, like all of the things. So anyway, hey, 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 hey. Um, so, okay, back to let's, I'm going to say it again. Last day to register for rally. Make sure your teams know that. Um, anybody here? watch or listen to Brendan Burchard. Anybody that knows me knows that I have been a huge fan of his and I'm a major follower of his and have been for years. He is the one that got me unstuck after I had quit my hotel job and was focusing strictly on Pink Zebra. I got, I was all over the place all of a sudden. When I had my corporate job, I had to be very organized with my days because I only had limited time to focus on my business. Um, and so when I suddenly quit doing that, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to have all this time to focus on my business. Well, then all of a sudden everything, it was like, I couldn't manage anything. I, I was, I was horrible at everything. So, um, I started listening to him and I actually took, um, I took, uh, um, training coaching from one on his, somebody on his team. And wow. I mean, talk about getting me honed in and focused. That was when I started doing the, my team, my, um, um, my days, my theme days. Um, it was when I started ordering my groceries through Instacart. I know that sounds crazy, but, and it costs a little bit more maybe, but it also, I hated going to the grocery store and it always took me way too long to go. And um, because I, I don't, I'm not a big cook and I can cook, but I don't like to, I'm not big. I don't love the kitchen. I love the kitchen, but I love it for decor reasons, not for the right reasons. Anyway, groceries was just like on my ugh list. And so when I started ordering through Instacart, I wasn't spending as much money because I bought exactly what I needed. I didn't have to take those two hours out of my day to go do that. And instead I could focus on something else. And I literally would say, okay, so for this next hour, you know, that I would normally go or two hours that I'd normally go to the grocery store. Instead, I'm going to focus on my follow-up or whatever it was. So anyway, that was a big deal to me, but I learned all of these techniques from Brendan Burchard during that time. And, um, I am, I get a, um, it doesn't, I think it's weekly. I get a text from, from his organization. And, um, the one that I just got, I think I got it a day or two ago. Um, but I wanted to, I took some notes because I wanted to share a couple of things that he mentioned. Sunshine here. Hi, Sunshine. How are you? Joining late because then we are giving word for the year. Yes. Rebirth. I love that. And it's funny that you say that because that's kind of where I'm headed right now. Um, okay. So anyway, I, I took some notes from this. If you guys like to follow motivational speakers, I will tell you Brendan Burchard is one of my he is my go-to. He is my favorite. Um, he has so many different podcasts. In fact, he has a brand new one that I'm going to be taking um, lots of notes on. Where is it? I just joined it. Hold on one second. It's called Marketing with Brendan Burchard. He's got um, some amazing things. So I'll, I'll share this here in just a minute. But um, one of the things that he talks about in this most recent podcast that I thought I would share is that if you don't like, you know how in December I talked about goals, right? And how we have to set goals and do all this kind of stuff. And um, I think I might've mentioned to you then as well, that I had not been able to, I hadn't even gotten to my goals yet. And so um, that was kind of weird for me because normally I had them all done by then and that whole thing. Well, one of the things he talked about was that if you don't know what your goals are yet, that that's a sign that you need to be the goal. And I'm like, okay, that intrigued me that it's time to take care of you and to strengthen you and to free yourself of the things that are blocking you um, so that you can, you know, you need to gain, uh, gain greater clarity. 
So he talks about how maybe you've been lost in the weeds or have lost direction. And I thought, oh, this spoke to me because I kind of felt that last year, especially after my situation, because I was told that I needed to quit stressing and all this kind of thing. And it's like, well, how do you like, okay, well then, you know, how do you, how do you not stress? So I kind of was feeling a little bit lost. Um, one of the groups that I'm in, I'm in a business group and it is, um, it's interesting because the moderator asked a question about what people wanted for the new year. She didn't say business wise, personal wise. She just said, what do you want for the new year? And I was shocked at the number of people that said they wanted to restart their business. They wanted to reconnect in their business. They wanted to get back to their business. There was like tons and tons of people were saying that. And I don't know, maybe it's because of everything that we went through with COVID. I don't know what it is, but I feel like this year I'm feeling that like I am feeling a huge restart. I'm feeling a huge reconnection. Um, I'm feeling like I feel like a lot of people are looking for that new energy and um, just that. Um, I don't know how else to say it, just that c connection. But anyway, so um, some of the things that OK, I'm kind of getting off track here. Some of the things back to what Brendan was talking about, he says, um, you know, to set commitments for yourself, like not just goals, but real commitments. Like, what are you prepared to do? I knew that was coming. What are you prepared to do? What are you prepared to commit right now that you're going to do every day for your growth, whether it's your personal or your business? What are you going to commit to every day? It's not just a goal, but it's a commitment that you're making to yourself. Um, whether it's, you know, I'm going to commit two hours a day. I remember when I first joined the business and, um, I didn't, like I said, I was working full time. I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, we had Colby Wayseth was our VP of sales. And so he kind of would like nudge me and go, okay, you know, here's what's happening and you need to be looking at this. And I was like, okay, thank you. Um, but I had no idea. And so I just decided, okay, I'm going to do one thing for my business every day, every day. I'm going to, whether it's, I'm going to figure out something to post on social media. I'm going to talk to one person. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Well, after a couple of months, I thought, okay, I've got this down. This rhythm is good. Now I'm going to do three things for my business every single day. Well, you know, when you're doing something like that, it just kind of becomes a habit. It becomes something that you think about. It's like you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, what three things have I got on the calendar to do today? So that's the kind of thing um, that I'm talking about with commitment. What are you going to commit to every single day or at least Monday through Friday? Because y'all, I'll be the first to say on the weekends, I spend that time usually with my husband unless I have an event or party or something I'm doing. But anyway, so think of some things that you can commit to. And then another thing is, who can you connect with on a higher level, meaning personal growth wise? Maybe it is a podcast or a Brenda Burchard or a, um, what's that other guy's name? Ed Millett. A lot of people really connected with him. Maybe it's a leader in Pink Zebra. Um, maybe it's a particular system that you want to follow. But um, find something on a higher level that you can kind of connect with that'll keep you going, that'll keep you learning. I feel like as long as we're learning, we're growing, right? I, I've, I've got to be learning all the time. I noticed that when I'm not connecting to a somebody like a Brenda Burchard or somebody where I'm learning, like um, maybe it's, you know, Karen Sedell does the trainings and she's got these leaders that are, you know, doing so well in these areas. If I'm not connecting with this, I'm not growing. So um, connect and grow. Um, he talks about, in fact, maybe I'll post the whole podcast because it's really worth a listen but he talks about accessing your future again which to me that was like oh my gosh it's that's where because he talks about how um we need to be very attentive to our energy and a lot of times we go through a situation and we're like dreading it instead of finding the excitement in it so whether it's you know maybe it was over the holidays and you know we were dreading whatever we're dreading some of the family members that we had to see or who knows dreading going Christmas shopping or whatever. Instead, we need to look at the positive and find the excitement about it. Like, you know, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Um, I love the holidays and I love connecting with family and I don't dread any of that. So I, I can't relate to that, but I know a lot of people do dread the holidays. Um, but anyway, he talks about finding the excitement in those things instead of 
focusing on the dread because as we know, everything that we put into our brain, that's where we focus. So um, I will post the podcast because it's much better than me sitting here reading off. But basically what I wanted to just talk about was focusing on and connecting with those things that bring you happiness, positivity. Um, when we're positive in our personal life, we tend to want to do more in our business life. So all of those things are connected, whether we want them to be or not. Um, so I, I will post that focusing on a word, staying away from the noise. Um, I think it was Jessica Lynch used to always say, you know, don't, you know, stay away from the noise. Um, and that is such great advice. We have got to focus on the good stuff. So I will post this link. I will also post his marketing. Um, does it, do y'all even know? I'm sure y'all do know about this guy, Brendan Burchard. But his, um, okay, here, hang on. I'm going to find this, mo no, not motivation, marketing with Brenda Richard. Oh, no, I don't want to listen to it. Darn it. I just wanted to share some stuff with you guys. But, of course, it's not going to let me pull it up like that. Anyway, he talks about um, seven tips to being an amazing speaker. I mean, that's kind of cool. How many times do we either want to lead a rally or we are leading a rally and I don't know about y'all, but I could always use tips on how to be a better speaker. So um, that kind of stuff. Anyway, all right. I didn't mean to go this long, y'all. Actually, I was just going to throw out a few tips and mainly focus on being the last day to register for rally to get everybody um, focused on that. But okay, somebody follows in. Yay. He is. He's amazing. He's amazing. I'm telling you, there's a lot of good people out there that are uh, really good to listen to. So if there's anybody that you love, share it with us. Um, I know I did something in peeps where a lot of you are listening to this from, um, I did a thing about, I'm going to start giving you guys, um, I'm going to start picking winners, I guess you could say for people that are posting and sharing content in peeps. Um, just because there are so many people that have such great knowledge and we all have something we can share that is, you know, worthwhile. So even if you think, oh, nobody wants to hear this, because I'm going to tell you all, I think that all the time. I'm like, they don't want to hear, they don't want to hear my story or they don't want to hear this. They've heard this a hundred times. I don't think that's true. And I need to listen to my own advice as I'm saying that. But, um, but we are all, we all want to learn and, and listen and we all have knowledge. So it's great to see your people. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Yes. Thank you so much. So much, so much. Lots of sticky notes and highlighted things in his books. Right. Right. Um, yeah. I still have one of his books. If somebody would love to get Brendan's book that I have, it's the one it's called motivation manifesto. And it is literally the one that got me totally skyrocketing with, I had, I, it just, it turned everything around for me that mentally, physically because it put me on tasks and things to do and it was awesome and I have one left I used to buy them and send them out as uh, rewards I haven't done that in a while I don't know if because probably because I figured everybody probably had heard of it by now but if someone would like that book um, the first person I guess that posts in the group that says hey I want that book I will send it to you how about that um, so anyway that's all. I don't have anything else. I appreciate you guys jumping on. I am excited about this year. You guys probably have heard we have our director and up meeting this coming weekend. I'm excited to hear what we're going to learn and um, what we're going to um, come up with. A lot of, you know, Tom always asks for our feedback and things like that. So that'll be exciting. I'm super excited about that. But I'm just excited in general about this year and just the direction that we're going. And I'm, I'm just excited. I'm, I don't know, I'm just excited. I'm excited about my inner peace too, y'all. <laughs> so anyway, hopefully I will maintain a level head. I'm sure my husband will be happy about that too, because I don't know, man, I get, I get stressed out about the dumbest things. He will tell you. So anyway, I hope y'all have a, um, I see a lot of growth this year and dedication from a lot of people. Me too. Me too. Hey, Jennifer. I know, right? You're excited with us, right? We're, we're excited. It's going to be a great year, y'all. And um, I just really believe that. I think that um, 
I don't know. I think we have had a, a few, we've had some rocky times in the past and we're learning from it and we just have to continue to grow and we have, there he is. Hi, honey. Um, we just have to focus on the good stuff and focus on getting to um, whatever it is that we're shooting for, these goals and these commitments that we're going to make to ourselves and to one another. So Anyway, y'all have a great week and um, thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to get everybody registered for rally. We want to get everybody there. So thanks, Jennifer. All right. Okay, you guys have a great one and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.